Hello, I'm Dr. Brad Holmberg, co-founder of InvisalignDoctors.com. This tutorial is an abbreviated version of Overbite with Invisalign treatment. The full version of this tutorial can be viewed on our learning website, InvisalignDoctors.com. There are three key guidelines to follow when treating a deep bite condition with Invisalign. Number one, overtreat the anterior intrusion. Most deep bite treatments require anterior intrusion. Overtreatment of the intrusion is required, especially if there's over two millimeters of intrusion needed to resolve a deep bite. The next few slides will explain why we need to overtreat the anterior intrusion. It is important to understand you do not usually get all the intrusion you see programmed into a clinch check. Therefore, Additional intrusion needs to be added to the initial clinch check. We refer to this as overtreatment where additional intrusion is programmed into the regular stages and not at the end. This graphic shows what you may see with your cases. Note on the right graphic how the clinical intrusion lagged behind the clinch check intrusion displayed on the left graphic. Let me show you what it looks like to overtreat anterior intrusion in a clinch check for a deep bite case. The left graphic shows the overbite before any correction. It is at stage zero of the clinch check. The red line is on the incisal edges of the lower anterior teeth. The right image shows what a clinch check should look like when you overtreat the anterior intrusion. The red line again is on the incisal edge of the lower teeth. And note in this particular case, the overbite is set at zero. This is what I mean when, you say, when I say that we need to overtreat the anterior intrusion in a deep bite case. The second guideline is to increase posterior anchorage in the arches where this intrusion is occurring, the anterior intrusion that is. I do this by adding attachments to posterior teeth. I prefer the horizontal and sizal bevel attachment for anchorage. Add one to a first or second premolar or a first molar that do not have attachments already. And I usually will add just one per quadrant. The graphic on the left kind of shows why we need to add that anchorage. You can see the teeter-totter there. And you can see that on the right side, the teeter-totter wants to go down. As it goes down, the left side wants the raise. If you put an anchor though and hang an anchor from that left side, it's gonna be more difficult for that left side to raise. And that's what anchorage really is. It's anchoring the teeth so that you can perform the movements in the front and not move the posterior teeth. Let me show you how to add these attachments to this deep bite case. This is the sample case I was showing you before. Here's the attachment right here. That's the horizontal beveled occlusal or incisal attachment. I'm going to left click and I'm just going to drag it to the second premolar teeth. Don't pay any attention to where the bevel appears on this icon right here. It'll self adjust when it gets on the tooth. Then I'll go over here on the other side and I'm just boosting the anchorage. And that's it. So this case is set up for a deep bite correction. I've overtreated the anterior intrusion and I boosted the posterior anchorage. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. Consider joining our community of Invisalign doctors on InvisalignDoctors.com. This tutorial and many more can be viewed in their entirety. Personalized case assistance is also available on our site.